To me, the greatest advantage of, uh, of quantum technology is, um, is the fact that, that you can speed up something that we call um, a search algorithm. Um, the search algorithm happens to, be, um, happens to be at the root of almost any difficult problem that we encounter. So, for example, if, you, if you're trying to optimize anything, um, probably the best example is traveling salesman problem. So you have, a, you have a salesman who has to visit 100 different cities. And of course he's trying to find the, the route that, uh, that's the shortest um, and to make sure that he's visited each and every place uh, only once. Uh, and because there is a staggering number of possible routes once you have, once you have 100, uh, 100 cities, this happens to be uh, an almost intractable problem for, for, for the conventional computer. Um, and I think almost any exciting question in the real world boils down to some kind of search for the optimum amongst uh, a huge number of, of different uh, possibilities. And we know already that, that there is a way of speeding this uh, up so theoretically, we can show that a quantum computer would, uh, would actually speed this up. And I think being able to manipulate um, even as, as few as 1,000 quantum bits would, as far as search is concerned, give us something that's already much more powerful than, than what we have. I, the, main, the main objective uh, of, of my research is really to um, investigate uh, quantum mechanics in the macroscopic domain. Um, so for um, at the beginning of quantum mechanics um, in, the, in the late 20s and early 30s uh, people viewed um, various quantum effects as possibly counterintuitive, maybe even wrong, but since then we've really got used to the fact that, that, it's, that it's possible to have quantum uh, effects even in larger systems, not just atoms and, and photons and, and smaller molecules. And I think the main question for us really is how far can we push this? So how far can we coherently, in the quantum mechanical sense, control a large object? Um, and, and if we can do that uh, coherently, then of course the question is so what? And what can we do with this technology once we, once we have it? So I think that's probably the most general way of describing the research. The maintaining quantum coherence is, is, is really the, the, probably the, the biggest obstacle to, to, making, uh, quantum, uh, to making quantum computers. And in our research, um, the hope is that we can learn something significant from, from biological systems. So recently we've had evidence that, uh, that various plants and bacteria, even uh, birds, um, use some very simple quantum computations to, to enhance their information processing. So plants use it uh, for photosynthesis uh, to enhance the probability of capturing uh, photons and then converting them into chemical energy. And birds, there is some evidence that birds use uh, quantum coherence and even quantum entanglement to estimate the direction of the external magnetic field, which they use then in order to migrate. Uh, and it seems to us that if they are able to do this uh, at room temperature in a very complex environment, then maybe there is something for us to learn for our technology. The, the importance of, of, of this research is, I would say, at least twofold. Um, one is that we are still probing the, the limits of, of quantum mechanics. We, we don't know if this is really our ultimate theory uh, within which we have to understand the rest of the universe. So there is a fundamental question there. And, and I think it's a, it's a, there, is, there is a great deal of lively debate regarding this issue. And you will find many physicists who believe that, for example, quantum mechanics will fail when applied to objects that are large enough to become classical, if you like. Um, the other important uh, issue, of course, is in terms of technology. So if we are able to utilize quantum mechanics and really coherently control large objects, 
then we can get universal quantum computers which are much more powerful than, than anything we have at present. So we could solve problems that are, that are considered complex and intractable uh, with, with the current technology. If we had quantum computers, we could, we could solve that much faster.